look at what I got um, at that private sale. And then I also picked up a box of stuff um, on an online auction. <laughs> left a customer's house. I did buy some really great stuff and it's so late at 720. I have an hour's drive home um, and I still have to stop by my storage unit. So I decided to grab a Big Mac at McDonald's. I don't usually eat Big Macs and I love to cook at home, but honestly, man, when I am pressed for time and I'm tired, I'm really tired today. Um, you know, it's just got to do. So having that and an iced tea and I am on my way back. Can't go home until I hit the storage unit. Hey, so it's Tuesday. I'm working from home today. I had a ton of orders to box up. Yay. Yay for a lot of orders. And um, now I'm in line at the dump. I have like uh, my old deck rug. I'm getting rid of that. And one of my deck chairs completely fell apart on me. So I'm getting rid of that. And I found a Weber for $35 at an estate sale. I cleaned it up. It works amazing. And so I got rid of my old barbecue, which was shot. I hadn't even used it this season. And then I have to go home and list my 10 items. But I got a couple things I want to show you when I get home. I'm so excited. I found something that I have been on the hunt for. And I didn't even know what they were. And then I looked them up and I am excited. Wednesday and I have made the executive decision that I'm going to take a day off. Um, I know that when I start breaking things and hurting myself that I've been working too hard and so far I've hit my head twice. Once on a door, once on a cabinet and I bro broke two items on Monday. Uh, so I went walking already. I'm going to do some yoga. Then I'm going to follow that up with some meditation. And then I'm going to take myself to an Indian buffet lunch. I've been craving Indian lately. So I'm going to go do that. Somewhere along the day though, I do want to do a little haul for you because that's just fun for me to just share. <music>
love art, and I especially love when a neighborhood has art sprinkled throughout like these wonderful murals in these alleyways that I have never noticed before. I'm really wanting to manifest a good record player that I could pick up inexpensively at a garage sale since I have a ton of records and no record player. Body Works and the dollar store so I got some envelopes for shipping and some pear soap I remember using this when I was a teenager and I still love it and I got some reading glasses so the dollar well it's a dollar 25 store now so I love going there for reading glasses I get like 10 at a time but they didn't really have anything today uh, that I liked but then I got my Bath and Body Works and and you got to see these t-shirts I just got they're so funny so this one says I found that new thrift store and it says um, let me tell you something from that hall which basically it's from um, it's from the uh, the Big Lebowski um, and that is, uh, God, I cannot remember his name. John Turturro. Um, he's the bowler in The Big Lebowski. If you haven't seen that movie, you must. But anyways, that, I thought that was so funny. So I got that for $3.99. And I got this little Daffy Duck Disney shirt. And my daughter, when she was like really little, like she was like five, was a huge wrestling fan and this is like a what you're gonna do brother it's a Hulk Hogan t-shirt so anyways that was my little splurge for the day and the pickup was right here in town where I live so that was really great so these ones I already took out of the packaging and I have to show them to you they are so cute I love me a food dog. Aren't these amazing? They are so cute. I only paid $20 for the set. So these aren't old. These are reproductions, but uh, food dogs are just really popular. I love them. They are so adorable. So these ones you already saw. Oh my gosh, these are heavy. They're the set of salad bowls and these are going with me tomorrow to um, Epic Antiques. So what I got on the online auction, oh, it's in here. I think this is verminware. It's the, like this speckled pink ceramic. So there's a picture and these are from the 60s, very mid-century modern. And then look at those. There is a set of these. There are plates as well. Can you see the plates? There's like little plates. This kind of little, I don't know if it's a, like a serving bowl or like a soup bowl. Oh, this is cool. I didn't even remember seeing this. Look at that. That is very mid-century atomic serving bowl this kind of like pie plate style ceramic and this is kind of cool this is also fairly atomic franciscan ware so maybe it was all franciscan ware so yeah i mean it was pretty random but anyways the one i like the best is this one i think that one's the coolest whoops all right, 
So from that private sale, I also got this little guy, except he's just a single, but look how pretty he is. He is lovely. I can't even tell you how old he is. I'm not gonna say he's super modern. He's not antique, maybe from the 1950s, 60s. Anyways, he would look fabulous on a bookshelf. So here is the other set of food dogs. They look very similar to the first set. I think it's probably the same maker, but this is a much bigger version and I got two of these. I paid $25 for these guys. I got a bunch of Studio Art Pottery from her. I got these, love this one with that kind of purplish blue glaze. I got these ones, also very cool. Oh, I didn't even notice this one has coyotes on it. I got this one, oh, and this has a break on it. I didn't even see that, but it is so pretty. I'm still gonna take it to the store. And the thing I was most thrilled about are these. These are Potosi's. And I had spotted them in her kitchen the first time I went to visit. And I said, hey, so how much are those? I mean, I knew they were Italian. And she's like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't, she didn't really value them. Everything else, you know, I had to offer her a good price or she wasn't going to take it. But on these ones, she sold me these for $5 because she didn't really care for them. They weren't even really her style. And then I got them home and I found out that these are Aldo, Rosenthal, Netter, Potosi pieces. Is that crazy or what? So anyways, super excited. They're gonna go online. They're valued at, I mean, I'm putting 345 on them. Um, and you know, I've seen them for 345 and up, depending on the style and the subject matter. So anyways, I'm super excited and I couldn't wait to show you guys. And then what if this was Elisa Larson? Wouldn't that be amazing? It looks like a Lisa Larson, but it isn't signed. It is so cute though, I love it. So I had grabbed the kitty, I thought he looked cute, and I thought he looked like a Lisa Larson, but I've never seen one in person, and I really don't know anything about him. And sure enough, it is a Lisa Larson and it is valued at about $175 to $195. So could you believe that? I picked up the Potosis and I picked up this cute little Lisa Larson kitty. Thank you for joining me on this week's adventure. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods are with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you next week.